Hello and welcome back to the Carp Hunters YouTube channel and we are in session a minute we're at Rosewater Carp Fishery and uh, yeah it's been a pretty successful session so far uh, I have lost one but I've had one as well um, but today's video isn't about the fishing it's about the uh, the Carp Lounge RT4 V4 bait boat now I'm going to be giving my first impressions about this uh, quite frankly <laughs> amazing bait boat so First of all, I'm going to go over what you get um, with the package that I've got in front of me here. So, obviously, you've got the, um, the bait boat just here. Uh, this is the uh, glossy carbon version, and I've got the, uh, the green sticker logo just here. Uh, it comes with two hoppers, an antenna, a rear echo sound antenna, which is different to the old version. It's, uh, the old version used to be this one, this long one, but uh, now it's this short little block that just goes into the top just like so moving on to the um to the actual hub i guess you could say here you get a um samsung galaxy a7 tablet included with the package uh, as long as you choose the raymarine echo sounder system i do believe uh you know it's a simple tablet um it's not locked to any uh os that carp lounge have with their app it's just a basic tablet with the uh, with the app already installed, already paired with the uh, transmitter box and the bait boat. So that's the tablet you get. You also get a really HT6 uh, remote. This is a um, this isn't a car plan specific remote. This is one that um, you use for remote control planes, boats, anything like that. It's programmable with anything that uses a remote control signal. Um, so you've got your forward, forward and backward is the right joystick and obviously left and right. Uh, hold the left, which is release the left hopper, hold right, release the right hopper, up, hook release and down hook release as well. So that's the, um, the remote in a nutshell really. I'm not going to go into specifics about any of it uh, as this is just a first impressions video. <laughs> I haven't been using this long enough to uh, really give you a kind of a detailed review and what I think I like about it and what I don't like about it. So. That's that, there's a little hook at the bottom just to keep your remote off the ground, just like that, it's pretty simple. Um, tripod also comes with it. This is a car plans tripod, it's got the branding somewhere, um, but it, you can't put a camera uh, or a phone onto it, not that I know of. It come, It just, there's a little screw just here, and then if I hold it so I don't drop it, there's a little locking button, and you pull it out, and there's um, sort of like a horseshoe mount, I guess you could say, which is also on the back of the transmitter box. So. That quite literally just slots into there and then there's a little thumb screw at the back to tighten it up and that's that's not going anywhere. Um, on the bottom of the transmitter box, you've got a USB-C charger you can charge the tablet with. Um, you can charge the transmitter box directly from the bay boat batteries. And there's also, a, also another port that I'm not uh, entirely sure what that does at the moment. So that's everything you've got um, in the inside the battery compartment. There is, uh, I've got, there is a main battery and a backup battery slot. Uh, and I've got the, uh, the four basic batteries. Uh, it does originally come with two, but I opted for the extra two. Um, the, I think they're 7,500 milliamp hour, the black square batteries. So two of these fit in here at a time, obviously, one for the main, one for the backup. The backup being if your main fails or runs out of battery while you're out in there, um, you press the top right, top right uh, trigger on the remote and it changes from battery one to battery two, just like that, and it's uh, and that's simple. So no worrying about um, your boat getting lost in the middle of the lake or anything like that, unless you don't have your uh, backup battery in, like I didn't do for the first time. Regretting that, because I almost ran out of battery in the middle of the lake. Speaking of batteries, battery consumption. I would recommend getting at least the four battery option, um, and I think you can buy even more than that if you wanted. These boats absolutely eat through batteries. I mean, they're just so powerful bits of kit. I mean, with the echo sound built into them, the autopilot, uh, and the amount of mapping that you might want to do with the integrated system uh, on a lake that you choose, obviously. Uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna eat through the battery. So I'd recommend getting the uh, optional extra batteries for, uh, for your bait boat. But my first impressions of this bait boat is I've before this I had the uh, the New Direction bait boat, the Smart Bait Boat Two, and I, and when I first got that I thought that was complicated, but oh boy, this is this is you know getting into a realm of 
just unfathomable complications. Um, not in a bad way. Like, there's just so many features uh, on this boat. There's just it just did take th at least three hours to go through them all. So. Um, what I did as soon as I got the boat was I just turned it on, make sure everything works. There's two buttons here, one for the main power and then one for the echo sounder at the back. Um, charge the batteries as well. It comes with a charger. I can't show you that at the minute because that's at home. But um, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the really complicated part. Um, I thought mine was broken at first, so I had to email the guys at Carp Lounge and uh, they basically told me I was an idiot and I was doing it wrong. So you have a... Um, Obviously, the main the battery cable that plugs into the charger, and then there's a um, uh, can't remember the name of it, but it's another cable that you have to plug into it correctly uh, to make sure it works and it's not um, flies everywhere that it's not overcharging or undercharging. And then within the actual battery charger itself, there's a net, there's a little LED screen um, with loads and loads of options: presets, fast charging, normal charging, uh, decharging. Uh, just loads and loads of options so if you want I can once I get home I can do a more detailed review about this bait boat but um, that's not what we're here for at the moment we're here to speak about my initial impressions and yeah it's just a mega mega bit of kit I mean when I got here uh, I didn't expect this lake to be as weedy as it was and this boat has undoubtedly caught me uh, the fish that I've caught this session uh, I'll show I'll try and get an overlay of the tablet right now but if I can't well, if I can't, I'll have to explain it anyway. Um, so you can map out a lake, obviously, but you can actually add an overlay of your um, Echo Sounders findings on the overlay of the lake uh, on Google Maps. So in my little corner, I've mapped out I'd probably probably about 100 square meters, and it's got, I've got all the different depths, um, and it's just it makes it so so easy. And what I've what I've realised is as as the boat's doing the uh the grid if you like i've made sure to remember where the clear spots are because it doesn't show you not that i've found out anyway although this is only my first time using it um there's no way of knowing whether it's weedy or not which is what i've found so what i've had to do is as it's mapping it i've had to just be looking at the sonar and um f just keeping in my memory uh, where where the clear spots are so once the uh, the mapping's done I can go back and save that spot so just uh, tap on the tablet new spot tap it name it rod one rod two rod three whatever and um, it will save it and then I can just put my rig in put my uh, bait in plonk it in the water tap the button and off it goes and it's just it's literally as easy as that and it's a very complicated system coming from a deeper which which makes it ridiculously easy uh, reading the sonar on this and the uh the way the depths are and the fish signatures and and the weed and all that it's, it's really really hard adjustment but i think once you know what you're doing with it and you know you've got used to the system and i think once you've got used to the system and how it works it's just it's, it's just a mega tool and i think anyone who is dead against bait boats i think honestly they really need to open their mind up to the possibilities that these open um, technology and fishing is is always going to be here from now on and it's only going to get more more advanced so catch the train while it's still here and you know hop on board because i don't i don't really understand why people wouldn't wouldn't use a bait boat wouldn't choose to use a bait boat when it's clearly an advantage um, yeah, I know what the people are saying, um, you know, oh, it's cheating, oh, it takes the, uh, the water, watercraft out of fishing, but in a way, yes, it does take watercraft out of fishing, but in a way, it absolutely doesn't, because firstly, you've got to know where, the, where to fish, you've got to know, um, you know, the, the signatures, where the fish are, you know, I'm not just going to plonk the bay boat in anywhere and, and hope that there's going to be fish there. I would have already looked at the water for a while and gone, right, I've seen fish there, fish there. I'm going to take my bait boat out and have a look under where those fish are showing and see what the bottom's like. And that's that's the advantage that these bait boats give. Without this, without using a sonar, I could see the fish top and I could have just flung a rig out and, and it could have been just absolutely knee deep in weed under there and I wouldn't have ever been presented. But this bait boat just opens up that opportunity where I know exactly what's on the bottom, exactly what depth, without having to use a marker float and scare all the fish away. 
and I can, I can I can be fishing so much quicker than marking about, checking depth, spotting out, casting out. Oh no, I've gone too left or too right or too far, not far enough. Recast, recast, recast. Fine, I've got it right. All I've got to do is take this out, find a spot that I want to fish, drop the bait and drop the uh, the uh, the rig, and there we go. I'm fishing over a perfectly baited spot. I know what I know it's presented because I know what the bottom looks like, and I just I can't I can't comprehend why people wouldn't take advantage of of this technology that's in carp fishing. <laughs> My eyes are a bit distracted. There is a fly walking right across the screen on the camera. So anyway, I'm not here to rant about why bait boats are liked and why they're not. I'm here to talk about my first impressions, like I just said. And my first impressions are, you know, as follows. This is an amazing bit of kit. Not cheap, <laughs> very, very not cheap, but an amazing, amazing bit of kit. And would, would I buy it again if I had the choice to get my money back and just forget about it? No, I wouldn't, because now I've got this bit of kit, I can't see me going back to not having this. And top props to Carp Lounge. It took two months to get here, but it's just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All I've got to say about this is good marks. And the more I learn about it, I, I presume the more I'm gonna like it. But for now, this is just the tip of the iceberg, what I know, this is just scratching the surface. And for that, it's just, it blows my mind how advanced fishing's got you know how, how advanced these bait boats are i mean everything you could ever want to find on a lake is just in this boat you know and it's not very small it comes in a black hard case as, as big as a house in my bivy but um yeah it's just a really good bit of kit and there's and there are loads and loads of extras that you can get for this bait boat there's uh, bait spirals zig droppers solid bag droppers um there's the structure uh, mapping that you can buy as an optional extra um i have got the uh one of the extras i can't remember what it's called uh, i think it's the real vision 3d upgrade i have got that but i believe it's still in beta at the minute so it's not it's not too good but uh, maybe i just don't know how to work it but yeah that's just a brief a brief overview of my first impressions of this extraordinarily expensive but amazing bait boat uh and only good things to say at the minute and of obviously as the sessions go and i'm using it i'm using it I'll, i could probably do a six month year review something like that of this uh of this piece of technology but for now uh top props to the guys at carp lounge um the germans they eh? they're always always very good at everything they, they do from cars to to bait boats, to anything, you name it, kitchen appliances. The Germans are just a mile a mile uh, in front of everyone else. So yeah, that's just a quick brief overview of my thoughts of the uh, the RT4 V4. I'm not, I didn't have the RT3, uh, the V3. Uh, I'm not sure how much difference there is. I know uh, the antenna was different at the back and I know the software's had an upgrade and, and things like that, but no, it's just a, an amazing bit of kit and I've only got good things to say about it. So if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this, um, I'm trying to uh, dive into the realm of different things other than just session videos. Uh, make sure you let me know uh, in the comments. And if you like the video, uh, give us a like as well if you want. But uh, that's it. And you will see uh, the session video that I'm currently doing at the minute, probably a day or two after this one, because I'm, I'm recording them at the same time, obviously, which means I'll edit them at the same time. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe as well. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. I apologise about the road behind me. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'll do a six month review, something like that, further along the line. But yeah, what an amazing bit of kit. I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit.